Okay, so today we will be creating a sunset over the ocean with crayons and watercolor. The objective of us doing this project is to practice using warm and cool colors. The very first thing that I need you to do is with your watercolor paper, I need you to take your black crayon and to write your first name. So go ahead and write your first name on your watercolor paper. Now, I need you to turn your watercolor paper over. We are going to go ahead and begin with a guided drawing. The very first thing that I would like you to do is I would like you about this far from the top bar right here, I would like you to draw a curved line like this. So a curved line like this. So go ahead and draw your curved line. This is going to be the top of the water. Now, go ahead and draw another curved line. Excellent. Now, we're gonna go ahead and draw the top of the sun like this. Excellent. So here's our water. This is gonna be the beginning of the sunset. Here's the sun coming up. Now go ahead and draw the rays of the sun. We're gonna go ahead and draw lines coming out from our sun, and Ms. Schumacher is kind of making them wavy lines. Excellent. Now, for your water underneath, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a big spiral line like that. So go ahead and draw a spiral line. And now this does not need to be just like Miss Schumacher's. It's okay if your project is a little different or if your lines are in different places. Now I'm gonna put my crayon right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw another spiral line like this. Now I'm gonna put my crayon right here. I'm gonna draw another spiral line. And now I'm gonna go ahead and draw even another spiral line. Some of these spirals I'm gonna connect to make kind of look more like waves. And again, you don't have to do that. I'm just going to where the spiral ended and kind of pulling it back out. Okay. Now, if you have space in the bottom corner, go ahead and write your first name again with your black crayon. Go ahead and write your first name again with your black crayon. Excellent. Now that first line that we drew, the first curved line, go ahead and go back over it and press really hard with your black crayon. Okay, that first line that we drew. That is going to separate your warm colors and your cool colors. 
So above this horizon line will be our warm colors, below it will be our cool colors. Just like in Ms. Schumacher's example, the warm colors, the colors that make us feel hot inside, the reds, the orange, the yellows, the pinks, those are going to be above our horizon line. The cool colors, the greens, the blues, the purples, those are going to be below our horizon line. However, however, before we begin doing that, we are going to fill our picture in with different line patterns, okay? So go ahead and choose a warm color crayon. So for example, Miss Schumacher can choose the red crayon or one of the orange crayons or a yellow crayon or a pink crayon. Any of these colors are our warm colors. Now, beginning right above our horizon line, we had this little line, this little space created. I'm gonna go ahead and with my crayon and I'm gonna fill it in with a pattern. Now you can do any type of line pattern that you would like. I, I know that we learned about patterns in the beginning of the school year. So try your best to remember we have zigzag lines, cloud lines, curved lines. We have all different types of lines that we can use to help us fill in our blank spaces before we paint it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in that section with a warm color with red and I might fill in some of my rays I might do cloud lines. I might do a wavy line. I might do a zigzag line. And I might just do straight lines straight vertical lines. All right, now inside of my sun, I might just draw a few more curved lines. Now, remember, you can do it any way you would like. I might fill this one in with circles. Like that. I might fill in this one with castle lines. I might fill this one in with big triangles. And I might fill this one in with another zigzag line. So go ahead and fill in all of the sections above your horizon line with warm colors with your crayon, okay? With your warm color crayons. Remember, you can use any crayons that are warm colors, okay? Now, after you finish that, we're gonna choose some of our crayons that are cool colors. And with our crayons that are cool colors, we're gonna fill in some patterns in the bottom, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose, let's see, a blue and maybe a green, you can choose a purple, any color that is cool. Okay. And again, 
you're gonna be filling in with lines. So I might go ahead and do some curved lines inside the sections of my waist. And I might do some, let's see. I might just kind of do some more wavy lines kind of up here. I might do a zigzag line inside of here. I might continue with some of my lines in here. And remember, these designs are totally up to you. I might do some circle designs in here. And for the rest of the space, I might just kind of have fun and kind of follow the shapes I've already created. Okay, my friends, now I'm going to go ahead and put my crayons back and you, you will put your crayons back in your bin. And now before we begin painting, remember that anytime we put our paintbrush in a color, before we choose another color, we need to swirl it around, around in the water and do a little dot. If the dot is clear, that means our paintbrush is clean. We can then choose another color. If that dot has color on it, that means your paintbrush is not clean and you need to continue swirling it in the water to get all the paint out, okay? Now, above this horizon line, we are going to use warm colors to paint our sunset. Again, you can choose yellow, orange, pinks, um, red, any warm colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna begin with kind of this orangish, reddish color on my palette and I'm gonna go ahead and start and remember that our crayon is going to resist the watercolor so we'll really be able to see our crayon lines that we drew prior, okay? So here I am. That's a nice warm color there. I might use that color for a few of my sun rays. So any warm color, you can begin painting. You're cleaning your paintbrush anytime you're changing into a new color to make sure that the paint does not get contaminated. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in this with the orange. Try not to put too much water, just enough so my paintbrush can glide really nicely. I might do one more ray with this beautiful color of kind of an orangish red here. Okay, now I'm gonna change to a new color, so I'm gonna swirl it around, clean it off of my water, do a little dot, the dot's clear, I'm good. Now I'm gonna choose yellow. Yellow is a warm color, and I'm gonna go ahead and paint my sun yellow. Oops. I'm gonna go ahead and paint some of the rays yellow.
All right, my last color that I'm gonna choose will be kind of this reddish color. I'm gonna go ahead and it's kind of a magenta-ish, pinky red. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of my eyes. Now, when you paint with watercolor, if you clean your brush in between each color, you can always choose another color to put on top of your color. Like I could take this orange and go on top of my yellow and the colors will blend right on my paper. I don't want to blend my colors on my palette because we're sharing this palette with a lot of classes. So now I might clean my paintbrush again, dip it, okay it's clean, and I might choose a different color red, orange now, and go on top of some of my other rays and blend the colors on the paper right here and kind of create some pretty colors here. So you can have fun with this. You can add a lot of colors on top and blend it, but remember we're only using colors that are Warm, okay? Okay, so now I am done with my sunset portion. And I have a lot of nice warm colors. I'm gonna clean my paintbrush off in the water. I'm gonna do a little dot and the dot's clear. Now I am going to use cool colors to paint my ocean down below. So I'm going to choose greens and blues and even purple. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a really pretty blue here. And I'm just going to go ahead and begin painting down below. And I'm just going to use a lot of different color blues. I like the color blue a lot. I'm going to go ahead and use, use the same color. I might add some on top. Again, you can mix colors, but only on your paper. Make sure your brush is clean in between. Need my brush, I'm checking it. Make sure I'm good to go. Might use some greens as well kind of a teal. Kind of blending the colors again on I move into some lighter greens. There's some really light green down here. Some light green over here. 
trying to blend my colors a little bit. <gasps> I haven't added any purple yet. I might add some purple. blending my colors together. I'm having a lot of fun blending my cool colors, making sure I've covered the whole paper. And voila, I am finished with my warm and cool color ocean painting. When you think of cool colors, think of winter. Think of blue, think of white, think of green. Think of colors that make us feel cold inside. When you think of warm colors, think of a hot day at the beach. Think of red, think of orange, think of yellow. All this talk about warm and cool colors makes me wanna to go to the beach. Let's go, Lucy.